Welcome to Epic Adventure Outfitters. Today we're installing the Goose Gear Jeep Gladiator Rear Seat Delete. You can remove the entire rear seat or opt for just the 40 or 60 delete. First, make sure your ginger is well hydrated and fed and is ready for action. Secondarily, ensure that you have an Epic Jeep Gladiator like this one. If you do not have an Epic Gladiator, we can take all your money and build you one. Okay, start by unpacking all the smaller support boards. You should have six of them. Next, unpack both the 40% and 60% platform plates. Remove all the junk from under your seat storage and remove your rear floor mat. Unbolt the four bolts holding down your rear storage compartment and remove the unit. Now, for the tough part. The eight bolts to hold the rear seat to the floor are locked in there pretty good. We found that using a breaker bar or ratcheting breaker bar will give you enough leverage to remove the bolts. The bolts are an inverted torque set, so you will need the proper socket. Once the eight bolts are out, you can simply lift up the seat and take out the trash. Once the seat is out, it's impressive how much space there is back here. Begin with the 60% platform and place it upside down with the required support boards. Loosen the connector bolts for each board and slide them into position as shown. Once the three support boards are loosely attached, it should look like this. Have your ginger pick up the assembled 60% platform unit and place it on the passenger side of the vehicle. Grab the goose gear provided hardware as shown. Apply a liberal helping of anti-seize to each bolt. The shorter bolts go at the back of the vehicle, while the longer bolts go towards the front. You may experience issues installing the newly provided bolts. We had problems with four out of the eight bolts. If you encounter issues, it would be a good idea to chase or clean out the threads prior to installation. At this stage, you can tighten the middle support board as you will not be able to access it later. Now onto the 40% platform. Place it upside down and feed in the three support boards as shown. Once the three support boards are loosely attached, it should look like this. Have your ginger lift the assembled 40% platform unit and place it on the driver's side of the vehicle. As with the previous side, grab the provided hardware and apply anti-seize to each bolt. Then install the bolts through the floor. Once you have everything lined up, tighten all eight bolts into the floor, and then proceed to tighten all the support boards. Finally, pop in the access doors, and you're good to go. The finished project should look like this. If you plan on long haul trucking with your Gladiator, you can now sleep in the back comfortably. Sleep well, Ginger. Sleep well. Thanks for watching and feel free to contact our team at Epic for all your Goose Gear questions. Until next time.